and then when one is starting, because it's a different dosage of mouth, we're wanting to start low. We slow. recommend everybody to start at the 500 mg. Yeah. You're welcome to make the decision to jump up. Okay. It may not be necessary though. A lot of people okay. think they need more mentally than they actually really do. Okay. So stay with us. It's a consistent dose every single day, one full dose. Okay. We make it really easy. The markers on the dropper are marked. Okay. So it's just one full dropper once a day, every day. We recommend at least 60, 90 days. Treat it as if it's a dietary supplement working into your body. Okay. It's not going to happen overnight. you got to okay. build it up. Right? So once you hit that baseline, it's almost like a gas tank. Every day your body's using it, right? You got to refill it. Got That's why it. we're taking it every day. Got it. Okay, cool. Because the whole point is that it's, again, returning, it's enabling, supporting homeostasis within your body. Right. So and that's why so many people are like, what does it do? Yeah. Anything to everything. We don't know it. Everybody is different and yeah. reacts with you differently. Got it. What we really want to strike here hard is it's the quality. This is not a gas station CBD. You're not picking something up that you have no idea where it's from. Yeah. It's got random things on the labels that they can't even substantiate. And got they're it. making crazy claims. Got it. My okay. favorite question to ask any other CBD company out there right now is, how many milligrams in your bottle? And they tell you, and then say, great, show me the test that proves that. Uh, not one other company in the world is testing this right now. We are. Wow. Every single bottle, every single batch. Ooh, great. Mic drop again. <laughs> Yeah, so we were using uh, what was considered an organic essential oil in our product line, and it was a great oil. I didn't really have a problem with it. It just was that aha moment of like, where have these oils been hiding? You know, like, you just don't understand the quality of them leaving oil until you experience them to yourselves. So we got that opportunity to, and it was just like, this is a no-brainer. Cool. Yes, so we use a we have about 1,500 acres under cultivation. And we actually go through and we harvest that in Colorado. in Colorado. We wrap it up, bundle it, and lock in that sweet savoriness, right? And the reason we do that is we want to keep it fresh. So because we're harvesting only a couple times a year, right? Well, it still gets cold up in Denver. I don't know where y'all are from, but even in Utah, it's still really cold. So in the wintertime, we've got to have products to produce still, right? Because we're now selling year round, right? We're not just selling a couple years. Months a year. Yeah. So what we do is we lock it up in that bundle, then it goes through a dryer, and then it's off to our CO2 extraction. Okay. The CO2 extraction takes out the THC and keeps the CBD all by itself. All of the studies coming out right now are CBD specific. Nobody has any data on these other cannabinoids yet, right? Because most of the other cannabinoids are such a low percentage, they're not going to help you in that degree you're thinking they are. That's why we have our 99% pure CBD, and we are measuring all the milligrams and all of the products. Yeah, like whether it's, it's just in the hemp plant to whole, right? You've got CBN, CBC, CBD, CBG. There's other data coming out, so we'll absolutely be looking at that. So if it data is presenting itself and it's like this is a product that is helping or a cannabinoid that's helping, we will absolutely jump on that. We're paving the path. Everything you see here today is all R&D that we've done by ourselves. We didn't consult with it. It's our R&D because that's what makes our product better. And you're working closely with the FDA. Absolutely. We want to make sure that our labeling and our compliance is up to everybody's needs from the FDA. Okay. And how about the, um, the organic cannabis? So, yeah, this is the other great question. So if you go ask the CBD company and say, hey, is your CBD organic? They're like, oh, yes, it sure is. Yeah. That's a lie. Do you know why? why? Nobody has organic CBD. The USDA doesn't have a certification for that. They have a certification for organic handling practices. We were the first company in Colorado to have that. So again, like I said, we're just pioneering the whole space and just doing the way it should be done. But nobody else is catching that memo. We are. So you are really only government-approved CBD? Not right now, because the feds haven't come in. Does that make sense? So there's nothing approved, period. We're just expecting that these requirements, because we brought in experts from other industries, hey, here's what the feds are expected of this product. Great. We're going to try and sync up a lot of these consistencies, so we don't have that problem later on. Okay. What about pregnancy and nursing? Consult with your physician. Uh, we have customers who are pregnant and are nursing, no problems. Again, it's everybody's personal decision. Yeah. There's just not a lot of ton of data as those babies are still growing in that first year, especially those systems are still developing. Dr. Paul can give you a little bit more specific. Okay. 